Well, we've been talking about it. It is the 4th of July today, and it's a day full of fun festivities celebrating the adoption of our country's Declaration of Independence. But the holiday can be mentally and emotionally grueling for some. Autumn Klein spoke with a psychologist at the Ralph H. Johnson Department of Veterans Affairs Medical Center about how fireworks and large gatherings can be mentally triggering for someone suffering from PTSD. Yeah, it sure can. And she joins us live there now with some tips that she learned on how someone with PTSD can get through today's celebration. So Autumn, break that down for us. That's right, Shelby and Katie. I spoke with Dr. Stephanie Keller, a psychologist here at the VA, who says that 4th of July celebrations and fireworks can cause strong trauma reminders and distress for many veterans. Dr. Keller says that someone suffering with PTSD may experience an increased heart rate and the urge to escape during 4th of July celebrations. She also says that large crowds can be a trauma signal that there is a threat or danger. She, she suggests that if you are someone who may be impacted by fireworks and large crowds to research the event beforehand or ask the people hosting to get a better understanding of what is to be expected. Triggers like this are typically worse when they are unexpected. She says that if you struggle with PTSD, avoiding the event altogether can be helpful in the short term, but continuously avoiding events is not always best in the long term. She tells me that if you find yourself having to miss events often and your social network is getting smaller, it might be time to seek mental health treatment. She suggests trying breathing and relaxation techniques to calm those physical and emotional reactions. Keller also tells me that mobile apps like Mindfulness Coach and PTSD Coach can be helpful for someone who may be having a hard time. Overall, she says that everyone is different and it is important to be respectful and considerate of those around you and their personal experiences. Have compassion and understand that everyone has different experiences and may or may not choose may or may not choose to attend the event based on their own personal preferences and experiences. Keller says that they have many mental health treatment options available here at the VA for a veteran who may be struggling with some mental health difficulties like PTSD. She suggests reaching out to your primary care provider to get a referral if you are someone who is struggling. Coming up at 6, we'll hear more from Keller on how everyone else can be supportive with those struggling with PTSD. Live in Charleston, Autumn Klein, Live 5 News.